Attention please, Volvo has spoken. It has spoken here at the Geneva Motor Show 2013. Welcome to the Volvo stand. A few moments ago, Doug Speck, Senior Vice President, rode out to make an announcement that caught some of the press by surprise. And yes, I meant rode out. He rode this sturdy bicycle, which gives you some idea of what Doug Speck announced. We're going to go into a little bit of detail about that in just a moment. But before then, I wanted to introduce you in person to the fleet. So over the last 10 days or so, we've been rolling out information about this major overhaul of the Volvo fleet, this redesign inside and out. And Doug Speck really explained that this is not, because it's not a new model, don't be confused into thinking that this is uh, somehow a subtle change for Volvo. 4,000 separate changes went into this, more significant than the launch of a new model, in fact. We've got the uh, XC60 behind me, the V60 on the platform here in the middle. Um, now, if we go over this way, Dragon, we can also pick up some of the new details in eight vehicles around us. I'm going to move the rather natty chairs. We launched the plug-in hybrid in Geneva. Look at the figures that Doug was so proud about announcing a few moments ago. 48 grams of CO2 emitted per kilometer driven. Absolutely fantastic, economical and environmentally friendly figures from Volvo, as you would expect. Also, this is the car that's been attracting the most attention, I can tell you. The press have been around it since it was unveiled. It is the new XC60. Look at the beautiful sleek lines. You may also notice, if you're an aficionado of Volvo, this is a new color, Java. If you like your cappuccinos and you like your rugged cross-country cars, that XC60 is for you. Let's see if we can make a bit of progress through here. We'll pause briefly at the V40, pipped at the post last night for car of the year. It's a real tribute to people like Hacken Abrahamson and the design team back in Gothenburg that this car was chosen by so many of the world's journalists as the finest model of the last 12 months. And they missed out on it just by a little bit. So, uh, but, but great news for Volvo. Anyway, the cross-country version we, we've launched. Have a look at the new wheels. The, the changes are all around the car. It's difficult for me to pick out one part of it for you. There is Hakan Abrahamson, who we mentioned just now. This is the S80. Now, if you have a look at the front, I don't know if we can do that, Dragons, have a little look at the redesign of the grille, the lighting. You can start to see that what Volvo has done is it's put a marker down for how their cars are going to look, the shape, the feel and tone of this fleet for the future. A very important, very significant day. We're trying to rack our brains actually here at Geneva and work out if another manufacturer has had a launch on this scale. And we don't think it's ever happened before. And the V70 and the XC70 here, the two V70 shapes, this is, for many people, this is the classic Volvo, isn't it? And it's a very important car for them in terms of the future. Again, spot the wheels. If you know your detail on the Volvo, you will start to notice that there are significant changes. And look who we have here. Look, somebody very bravely is riding this beautiful wooden bike. Yes. Lotta Jakobsen, how do you do? Thank I should you. let you take off. Let me hold the bike while you take off your cycling helmet. Lotta look up, looks after uh, safety at Volvo, and she was insistent to me that she was going to ride the bike. She was going to wear a helmet. Absolutely. You know, safety is priority one. I would expect that. So, Lotta, why have you brought a bike to a motor show? Well, this is a very good way of really illustrating the next generation of detection system and auto brakes. So you've got a pedestrian and cyclist detection system with full auto brake, an automatic yes. braking system, which you've announced today. And a couple of the press came up to me afterwards saying, did we know about this? And nobody knew about this. This was a secret until today. Yeah. But so typically Volvo to mm -hmm. think about the impact you're going to make, frankly, in mm -hmm. saving lives. Yes, exactly. I mean, cyclists is second to pedestrians, uh, the most vulnerable road users outside the car. So, so obviously that's an important step to take. And we introduced it today. We're very, very pleased with that. And I can see that you're very pleased about it. These innovations that Volvo comes up with, and you've had decades of experience mm -hmm. at this, they're always taken up by other manufacturers. I often wonder whether mm -hmm. you sit back in Sweden and get angry that they've taken your ideas, or are you proud? No, we're proud. Of course, we want to be first, if possible. But after that, 
it makes the base, best safety impact if it has uh, widespread, so yes, it's good. You know, the three-point belt is in every car today, yeah, invented by Volvo more than 50 years ago. And that list goes yes. on, doesn't it, of it what, does. what Volvo innovated on. And finally, Lotto, I've noticed that the cars are getting intelligent. I mean, they're, they're auto-braking for you, they're detecting pedestrians, they're now detecting mm -hmm. cyclists, they've been detecting mm -hmm. cars for some time. Uh, at what point will they be able to do the shopping for me? Well, I don't know yet, but I would definitely would like that. I appreciate that. I guarantee <laughs> that I will be standing at a motor show in the near future and Lotta will announce to me that the shopping list is a press of a button away. Lotta, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. I can let you cycle off with your helmet on. I will cycle with helmets. Yeah. Dragon, <laughs> we're going to come this way. If I wouldn't mind just moving just a sec, a little bit for me, uh, gentlemen. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, something else I also wanted to point out to you, which is that the whole of the Volvo stand this year at Geneva is on the move. So I'm very slowly going to move this way and I'm going to leave you with some sights and sounds of the Volvo stand at Geneva 2013. Thank you for joining us. In the next few days, watch out for more information behind the scenes on this dramatic design innovation. Goodbye. <laughs>